Hey everybody! So I'm just gonna kind of give you all a second to hop on here. Um, hopefully I started on time. I try not to start too early, but definitely don't want to be late. So I'm weird like that. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, I hope you all have had a great Sunday, that we still have a few hours left of Sunday, right? Before we all have to uh, go to bed and get ready for Monday. But anyway, I'm going to jump right in here so that there's not like awkward lag if somebody watches this later. And I just think it's awkward to sit here talking to myself for no reason. <laughs> so um, this is based off of the book The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. I read this uh, shortly before Jared and I got married. I believe we were engaged at the time. If we weren't engaged, we were dating or very quickly headed in that direction. Um, so like tiny snippet of our story. I worked at the church where he grew up for a year as a secretary. Um, we met in February of 2015. We talked for three months while I was back here in North Carolina waiting to move up there. Um, to work because I like visited their church for a week and then um, we met that week we hit it off it was kind of very obvious that he was interested in me and I wasn't really sure what to think um, so my, my first thought honestly was never in a million years but I got to your million and one pretty quick um, but anyhow we talked a lot on Facebook and stuff those three months I was back here waiting to move um, then my parents had said that they wanted us to like take a few months to just get to know each other as friends in real life, not just on social media. Um, and then um, we started dating like mid-August. He took me to a performance of The Music Man in Minneapolis because that was my favorite. It is my favorite musical and it happened to be playing live um, at the Guthrie Theater there. And um, so they gave us special permission to start dating that day so that he could take me um, to that performance. And then we got engaged on Christmas Eve that year and married May 14th in 2016. So it was really quick. If someone had ever told me that I would meet and marry someone in a matter of 15 months, I would have like totally laughed in their face <laughs> very loudly. <laughs> but anyway, while we were um, in that whirlwind of a process, I happened to read this book and I had heard a lot about it, just never read it. Um, so there are five love languages that um, people predominantly have, um, some people have, you know, more than one, a lot of them kind of go hand in hand, but everybody has one that's kind of their top quality. So, um, they are words of affirmation, acts of service, receiving gifts, quality time, and physical touch. So mine is physical touch. I took the quiz on the five love languages website and I'm like 33%, um, touch and then it's, I think it's like 24% quality time. And then the other three fall in there somewhere, which like I enjoy them all um, to an extent, but like touch is my big one. So I wanted to go over kind of what they are and then um, fun ways that like we can incorporate the young living lifestyle into them. Cause I don't know, I just got thinking about this the other day. I was like, maybe this would be fun to share. So even if you don't care a thing about young living, that's cool. Um, we'll talk about the love languages in general. So we're going to start with words of affirmation. And Jared is a little bit this. He's kind of, he'll, he'll just say he's like a mix of a mountain. He really is. So I can kind of just pick and choose like whatever to communicate love to him, which makes it super easy for me. So words of affirmation. Um, this one can be expressed with words that build up and edify um, not just your spouse, but your kids and friends. You know, this can be applied to whatever kind of relationship you have with another human being. Um, so short, simple phrases that praise the other person and acknowledge that you um, see them and love them. So um, you can say something like that outfit looks really nice on you. Um, I noticed that, you know, you seem really happy today. Your eyes are sparkling or, you know, I love your hair. You always make me laugh. You're the hardest working person I know. Just little things like that. And that's going to mean a lot to them. Um, so some ways that I thought might be fun to incorporate on living and maybe this particular category will kind of sound cheesy. Um, <laughs> I was thinking like, it's fun to give little gifts with like corny little phrases, um, not corny phrases, like the phrases mean something, but it's kind of corny the way you pair them up. So, um, I thought of like, you're the best hands down. So that would go with the thieves, um, hand sanitizer, which I absolutely love. This bottle is empty because we have another one on the way. Fortunately, I still have a couple of little ones. <laughs> uh, um, and then you play an important role in my life. And then that would be like any one of our oil rollers, um, 
there's lots of amazing ones or you can make your own with oils that you have I do that all the time um, and then I don't have this product on hand because I am not a tea drinker but we have um, teas that come with an oil to go with them and you could say you are tea terrific so just kind of make it fun find something you know that you can kind of be cheesy pairing them together and just encourage somebody and then secondly, acts of service. Um, so this would just be like doing something to take a load off of someone else, uh, maybe like running an errand for them or, um, you know, if you just see that your spouse is like really tired or they're overwhelmed or, um, you know, someone's had a new baby or they're sick or whatever, just something um, to encourage them. So some things you could do, um, would be, you know, like take somebody a meal or volunteer to take their kids so they can go on a date night or just something simple. It doesn't have to be, um, huge, you know, rake their yard or whatever. Volunteer to take their dog for a walk because they don't want to do it. Hey. <laughs> so, um, like for us, <laughs> that would be like, honey, I clean the kitchen with Thieves Cleaner. I'd be like, praise the Lord and thank you so much. Or, um, I threw in a load of laundry and I used our Thieves Laundry Soap. Or um, this one would be really fun. We love to use Thieves Fruit and Veggie Soak um, to like remove all the dirt and obvious nastiness from people touching produce in the store, but also to remove a lot of the uh, pesticides and chemicals and things that are sprayed on our food. So um, take that, soak your produce, and then either make like a veggie tray or you know some kind of fruit dessert or something for someone. So. Uh, third would be receiving gifts. So this one um, is just like not being, mut I can't talk, I was gonna say monetary, not being materialistic um, and like necessarily trying to win somebody by all their gifts, but just little things to let them know you're thinking about them, maybe something in their favorite color or um, like a tie in your husband's or boyfriend's like favorite sport team or, you know, something little like that. Um, one thing that I have that's like little but means a lot to me when we were on our honeymoon in Disney World, um, I really wanted to get something there that had our initial for our last name. I don't know. That was just something I really wanted. So we found um, a little necklace that has a little silver J on it and a little like diamond <laughs> Mickey Mouse head. And it was just something that was really special to me um, that he helped me find and get. So just something like that. So some things, um, Young Living is not just oils and I kind of had to like go through our catalog and, and figure out what would fit this category because like to me, you could give me anything from Young Living and I'm perfectly happy. Um, but we have lots of different diffusers so that would be um, something a little bigger but something really nice to get someone who maybe is a little more gift oriented. Or we have bath bombs and if someone like doesn't have a bathtub or is not really into baths, we also have shower steamers so they're that bath bomb kind of concept but you stick them like in the corner of your shower not directly in like the water um but then you get that essence of the oil and stuff in the shower so that's fun if you don't have a bathtub or whatever and then also um we have lip gloss for the ladies and also lipstick so i love these this one is kind of like a purpley color and we have lots of different um shades and all that sort of thing and i figured i would just put the lip gloss on to kind of show it to you if I can hold the camera so it comes on this fun little applicator and the way the tube is designed sorry I'm trying to see it and turn my camera um, the way the tube is designed it never comes out with like more than just a little bit on it so I like that about it because it never is super meshy this is gonna be meshy y'all really wanted to see me do this didn't you <laughs> but I like it it's got a little bit of shimmer they're infused with peppermint oil so you get a bit of a see if I can kind of turn toward the light there a bit of a cooling sensation with it but I like this color it's called abundant and it's just like a little bit of pink nothing overbearing granted I like bright colors they're kind of fun but I really like that one just kind of to go with general colors so there's those um, for receiving gifts and then quality time so um, this is all about like undivided attention sitting down having a conversation not looking at your phone not watching Netflix like I love to just sit and watch things with Jared. Like we have a lot of shows we enjoy watching together and that's fine. Um, but you know, sometimes you just need that face-to-face -face conversation 
And if someone's predominant love language is quality time, that's probably what they're looking for. Like, pay attention to me. You know, there's so many other things going on um, in our lives. We just need to take that time and really connect one-on-one -on -one with the people who are important in our lives. And obviously, if you're married, um, there is no more important relationship on earth than you and your spouse. So, um, you know, let them be your center of attention. But I was thinking, okay, what are some things like in Young Living that would go with quality time? This was like, gifts was a little difficult. This one was hard. <laughs> so um, we have a face scrub. I use this in the shower. I usually keep it in the shower because I really like it. It smells like dinner mints, <laughs> which is awesome, right? And it's got just that little bit of coarseness to it to, you know, buff your skin and get rid of the dead cells and whatever. And I love the feeling of that. So, um... Maybe this would be more of like a sister time thing or a mom and daughter thing, unless your husband's cool with that. And hey, if a guy wants a face scrub, they have skin. They, it needs to be healthy too. That's cool. And if he likes the smell of dinner mints, by all means, do it together. Um, but just something like that that you could do together. Or um, sitting down and talking over a meal. We have einkorn flake cereal, which is kind of like the healthy version of frosted flakes. Um, I've tasted one because they do have a low rate of gluten. So I just didn't mess with it when it first came out and we got it because I was pregnant and really didn't want to mess with that. Um, but Jared loves them. He eats them often. So um, I need to get him a box sometime soon. I just keep forgetting to order him one. But, um, you know, sit down and, and have that time over a meal. Young Living has a lot of different um, food products. We have waffle mixes and um, we do have a gluten-free one as well. That is good. I have tried it. Uh, we have a syrup that goes with it as well. So lots of different things. And then also we ha if you guys are into, um, like traveling and taking trips together, we have the Bon Voyage kit, which is like the little personal toiletry kit. So like shampoo, conditioner, um, body wash, a small bottle of mouthwash, floss, uh, toothbrush, chapstick. I think that's all that comes in it. Um, but you know, you're like ready to go and, and be clean and enjoy being together. And then the last one, which is mine, is physical touch. So, um, you know, not necessarily like full-on PDA, gross people out in the grocery store, but, you know, holding hands, um, giving hugs, kisses here and there, maybe a little bit of, you know, flirty taps every now and then. Um, but just, just enjoying being physically close to, you know, the important person in your life. Um, it, you know, emotionally Connecting is important too, but a lot of times for me, if I'm really stressed out or so, or it's just been a long day, I just want to sit there on the couch and just like either lean on him or hold his hand or have him, you know, usually rub the tension out of my shoulders if it's been a long day. Um, but just simple things like that. So some of the Young Living things that I really like for him to use on me is um, we have a lot of different massage oils. This one is Cell Light Magic, so it's really good for like your lymphatic system. And it's, it's citrusy, so it smells amazing if you love citrus things. Um, that one I actually got to help with stretch marks after I had James, and it really did a good job. Like they're not gone gone, but they're not glaringly obvious either. <laughs> so we really like that one. Um, they also have one infused with the oil sensation, which is like aphrodisiac in the bedroom type fun. Um, I have that one in a lotion way up on my shelf that I can't reach right now. Um, but Jared has the lavender lotion and there's a few other scents of lotion as well. So lotion is fun too. You can, um, you know, like massage, give, like rub them. I can't get this out. Um, like care for the skin on their face and kind of give them a facial massage or massage their hands and rub in some lotion or maybe even a foot rub. And if you really want to get fancy with your foot rub, we also have a mint foot scrub that is similar to, um, the mint face scrub. So you probably could even use that on your feet, like wouldn't hurt anything. But um, those are just some ideas that were kind of fun, I thought, um, you know, for different relationships. And um, obviously, building our relationships with people is something that we have to work on all the time. They're not just something that can sit dormant and still and be okay. So I just thought that would be fun to hop here, hop on here and talk about. So um, if any of these are something that you think someone you know would enjoy uh, for their love language or you want to get to um, use with your spouse or whoever, let me know and I can help you put together a custom kit for that. But thanks for hopping on and I hope you all have a fantastic week this week.